we would be adding a new clef here. For many reasons, you might not need a default clef. For instance, to print a paper where the students for theory's sake are going to draw the clef themselves. For some other reason too. One way to do it is click the clef, select all similar elements when you have many stuff, you can do all similar elements in the same stuff and press V which makes it invisible. So you will see that it looks grey now but if you print that it's not going to be present. However, if you start writing on top of this, the next line same element will be seen. So for now, we would do the other way. Click any bar, I do it here, right click and go to Start Properties. You see an option here called Show Clef. Untick it. You may not want the time signature too. For now, I'll leave it here. And you see that all the clefs are gone. However, the notes will follow the same clef properties. It was a treble clef for instance and my middle C is going to be a ledger line below. All right. Now once done, you are going to be writing whatever notes you would want. So I'm going to be filling this up with some notes. Great. There were actually eight lines in this page and I have filled them up. Once done with this, you would first check what size do you want. So you go to format, page setting and you can change the staff size from here. It gives you preview whether you want them to be bigger or smaller. For now, I don't want them to spread across so I'm going to be keeping them at only one page. Once done with this, we need to add a new clef. For that, we go to clef and you see a sign here which is basically more elements. A problem with this would be you cannot add something here and this is right now in basic. I recommend you to have an advanced. Okay, let's try bringing a new clef here. So you need a clef sign mostly with an invisible background. It can be an SVG, PNG or a PNB to make it more easier. I have my logo here which I'm going to be using as a clef. Let's see if we can drag this and it cannot. So you need to create a new workspace. By the way, I generally prefer advanced rather than basic because advanced workspace gives you a lot more options like articulations, dynamics, etc. For now, we'll create a new workspace. You can click toolbars in menu bar and add and so I can go tabla and I can save tabla. Great. Now, what we need to be do, doing here is click on clef and you'll see, oh, I already have one. I'll delete this. You can see how it's done. Great. It has the question mark which basically says show more. If you do not have that, you're going to be creating a new palette. Right click anywhere below the palettes and insert new palette. This is something that you couldn't have done in basic or advanced. So I name this, let's say, Tabla. But before I press enter, I need to click show grid and show more elements. And because I did show more elements, it gives me this question mark where I can add new place. If your clef already has a question mark, it basically and it says show more, you can add a new clef right there. Now, this place does not really create a new clef, but it creates a bookmark. So I have my logo saved here in downloads, which is dragging it down to this place and leave it. This has created a bookmark. Now, 
if I would like to make it look better I can add oops properties I can add draw stuff and decrease its size but this does not necessarily mean it will look like that here it may be helpful if you have an option here in clef itself and you don't want it to override the other clefs so you want them to be short great now what I'll be doing is for every place I want the clef I'm going to be pasting this so I want it at every line so I'm going to go here and double click this I'm going to the next double click that Let's zoom out so that we can see we do it for all eight lines we are done for two three four don't worry if it goes outside because once you start adding editing it further it will come back to the same page length as it was earlier but in this case it's just one page oops now that I was not really selecting a node I was selecting a bar I can even select here and I can add it now you see that it does not really come at the space of the clef sign I had it here I could do it from there too great now we want to bring here so great now what we can do is right click on this currently the only picture here in this is used as a clef so I can do all similar elements but I could have also done all similar elements in same stuff if required we basically need the inspector for this you can go to you can press function 8 and you get an inspector directly here or else you can also select all of them all similar, similar elements and go to view so you get an inspector here you see something here written as auto automatic placement untick that and it has come back to the same size as it was before now you see also see that the other things present here like the time signature and the notes are kind of hidden because of this so you might want to change them by first bringing all of them to the standard place that is the place of the clef so I'm going to check what most of these are going to take to reach that so I'll change the X and the Y axis oh and it actually reached now that I know that they are at the right place I click back automatic placement so that it shifts notes ahead the note is still here overlapping with the clef so I increase the X axis parameter decrease in this case I had to decrease it great now you can change the size of these by here ideally if you want to maintain an aspect ratio you would click the width and the height equal number of times for instance 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 you can even squeeze it more depending on your requirement this is an undo button all right there it is and then I switch this off I see that the time signature is gone beyond I can kind of now select only this to change I can go back to an inspector for this node that's a function 8 for this picture and change its individual placement I have not in select all 
so I take it even beyond okay it's not working so I can go to time signature and inspector from view or directly select time signature left click and function 8 and I can change the placement for this so automatic placement of lets me makes me move it it does I switch this off now I can come back to this and inspector automatic placement off and that does it that's it now I can save this out as a new page also it would be a great idea that once you have added this you right click that and save the palette clefs dot palette whatever all the clefs are gone